In this video, I want to show you how you can highlight some text in a paragraph. This is especially helpful if you have, let's say, a regulation or a legal text that you have to put on the slide, the whole sentence or paragraph even. But there's one phrase or a few words that you want to stand out so that the audience knows that's where they need to focus. And this is the type of thing we can do. We apply highlighting to the text. Now, it's not really applying highlighting. Let me show you how we do this. So here's where we start with the slide that has the text on it. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to place a rectangle behind this text because the text box doesn't have a background color to it. It's transparent. We can put the rectangle in behind it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to select our regular rectangle shape. We're going to draw it on top of the text so we know it's in the right spot. We're going to say no line, so transparent line color, and the fill color is going to be the bright yellow. This is very common for highlighting because it's the most common highlighter color that's sold at office supply stores. Before we move it in behind the text, we want to add some animation because when we're presenting, we want the whole text to come up and then we want this highlight to come up so that people have the context and then they see, oh, that's the important part. So before we move it behind, we want to do the animation. And in an anim animation in Google Slides, you click on Slide and you say Change Transition. And so in the slide transitions, we don't want to change, but we want to animate. So it says Select an Object to Animate. So we've already selected it, so we can click on. And fading in on click is what we want. So we've done the animations. The default works for what we want. So I'll close this and now I can select that rectangle and use the arrange tool and say the order I want to send it backwards. So send it one layer backwards so it's behind the text. And so that's what it's to look like. Now it, when we go to present, what happens is, is we have this overall text come up first. We can give context for it and then we click and that yellow highlight comes on so people now focus on that area that we want them to focus on. When you use a professional presentation program like PowerPoint, you have more options for the animation. Here, Google Slides only allows you the fade or a simple appear. In PowerPoint, you can bring this highlight on from the left to the right. So it looks like somebody's actually highlighting it on the screen the way they would highlight it in their book if they're following along. So that's what you get when you use a professional presentation program like PowerPoint.